Hi everyone, David here from davidtomeaudio.com and in this video, I wanna share with you guys my favorite randomization tools for creating sound effects. So these tools are um, all a bit different. Some of them are used to completely uh, randomize different sounds and different samples. Some of them are used to randomize different parameters of plugins, uh, but basically all of these are uh, tools that I like to use to randomize my sound effects. So uh, before we jump in, if you guys haven't checked the description, make sure to check it out. I'll include a free little sound pack uh, of uh, various different sounds I put together that I haven't put in any other sound pack. So if you wanna get those for free, check the link in the description below. All right, let's get into our video. All right, so before we actually get started, I'm just gonna say that none of these are in any kind of particular order. Um, uh, these are all kind of tools that are used uh, differently for different purposes, just based on whatever I, I might be working on or creating. So uh, it just depends on what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, so no no particular order, but here we go. All right, so the first one is Sandweaver by Boom Library. And Sandweaver is basically a layering engine that layers your sounds together um, right at their transient point. So what you can do is you can import new sounds. So if I went here, create a new group, and let's I wanted a new path. So these are paths that I've already um, uh, done on my computer that, that, that I've already imported into uh, Soundweaver before so they know where they are. So I can just import it in here. I can say how many layers I want from this folder on my computer. So let's say I want just one layer. That's fine. And then I can click randomize and it's going to add this new layer right down here. Okay, so now you can see I have different groups. And the way that I normally like to uh, organize these is that they'll all have different kind of functions. So one group up here might be like hits. So this is my like weapon hits. Down here I have like glitch impacts. So here I have yeah, weapon hits. Here are glitch impacts. Here I have uh, like melee weapon hits. So like sword hits. Here I have transient uh, sweeteners. So transient hits. And then uh, some more weapon hits, uh, riser, and then obviously this one here that I imported. So they all have kind of different functions. Uh, and that's how usually how I like to uh, work with them. But basically, this is it. And as you can see here, it lines it up at the transient so that all my sound effects, as soon as I, they're imported, they're all lined up and I can just press play and hear what they sound like. So let's do that. So I'm just gonna delete this one here because it's not doesn't really fit with what I'm going for. And let's just see what see what I have. And what you can do now, once you have everything imported, is I can just click this randomize button and it's gonna choose a different sample from those folders that I imported. So if I look at this top group up here, you can see I have two different folders. So it's gonna pick two uh, samples from these folders. So let's hear it. Okay, let's randomize it. Again. So as you can see, it's like it's really cool for like quickly creating and putting together sounds. So this one down here is not working too well. So I might remove this layer here and then keep going. And you can see how I get these cool impact sounds. All right, so this randomize button is actually just randomizing the samples themselves, which is great, but you can also do other randomization. As you can see down here, uh, you have your randomized position. So this is the position from the center point. So if I do plus minus 15 milliseconds, you can see they're all kind of moving a little bit so that they're not all perfectly lined up, but that's good. So I can reset them here. So I have a global command uh, to reset them, like a macro key. And then if I want to redo this, Maybe I want to do way more just to make it really obvious what's happening. Right, so it's like a completely different sound effect from this. Right, so that's the position. And of course, you also have this here, which is the pitch. So I can randomize the pitch up or down. Let's do 20%. So it's going to be up or down 20%. So let's try that. So you can see each individual layer is either going to go up or down 20%. Right, so it just sounds completely different. Right, so there you go. And then of course you can always re-randomize. And as you can see here, like all the pitch are gonna stay as they are from before and same with the uh, position. All right, so this is how I like to use it, uh, this tool, uh, to randomize the layers, quickly create new sound effects, and then randomize the position and the pitch. 
All right, let's move on to our next uh, randomization tool. And this is uh, these are the uh, sound effects from Kilohertz. So these are called what they call snap-ins. Um, there are some here, and if I go here too, you can see, uh, like for example, they can just be in insert plugins. So I have like a comb filter here, for example. Uh, but yeah, so all of these, um, not a lot of people know, but they actually have randomized uh, options in them. So let's actually just open this comb filter here so we can see it. But if you look at this little drop down, you can see here that you have little dice and this is your randomized uh, feature to randomize the patch, uh, your, like your current patch here. So if I click on it, it'll just randomize and I'll choose different settings in here. So let's hear, listen to our sound here and then I'll actually do this so you guys can hear what, what it can do. So this is my sound. If I turn this on, I can randomize. Right, so hopefully you can see how uh, quickly you can create new sounds with that. So that's pretty cool. And each of, each of their plugins have this. So like if I go here into my pitch shifter, I can do that here. Not doing much of a difference, but here let's do it with our non-linear filter. Right, you can see that it can add a lot of difference. Now let's say I wanted to add this one here and then randomize that. So that one's not a good idea, a good example. Let's try something really obvious. Let's do like a distortion here. Yeah, let's do that. Right, so if you just want to come up like with some like quick settings, like you know maybe you want a specific kind of sound effect, like a distortion, but you don't know exactly the exact settings you want to set it to, or you just want to try different things, like you can just do this. Right, until you get something that you like. So it's really fun, really quick, and really easy to do that. All right, so this is the um, another uh, tool that I like to use to randomize. All right, the next one here should not be a surprise to anyone, <laughs> S-Layer by Twisted Tools. And this is similar to Soundweaver in that it's a sampler engine where it uh, takes um, different samples and layers them together. So here, though, you are limited to how many you can include. So for Soundweaver, for example, you can include as many as you want, as far as I'm aware. Maybe uh, your limit is like 99 or something, something ridiculous. But here you have eight samples, which is plenty. Like, you can definitely do a lot with that. So uh, what I did here is I imported some sounds. I think I imported some sound effects, some whooshes. So a whole bunch of whooshes and spells, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so I imported them in here and now what I can do is for these uh, the, like the randomize button is up here and everything that's triggered that is orange is going to get randomized so if you see here your samples it's lit up with orange that means it's going to get randomized same thing with this start time going to get randomized if I click this button same thing with pitch pan volume okay so if I click on it you'll see they all change you can also randomize just individual like parameters like this or you can randomize all of them together And usually that's how I like to use it. I like to just randomize these settings, uh, these five parameters up here. Of course, sometimes I'll do other ones like uh, phase. Sometimes I'll do speed, which is already set up here. You can even do reverse, so it reverses the file here. So I can do that. So that's cool. Uh, you can also do like solo mute and and, and do those. Um, I'm just gonna undo mono because I don't want them to be mono. Let's try that. Okay, so that's normally how I'd like to use it. Now, obviously, you can do a lot more. Like, you can randomize, you know, um, all the effects parameters here, the envelope parameters, and even the uh, sends uh, here. So, uh, and the way you could do it, obviously, you can go in manually and click all, all these orange boxes to randomize or just randomize them like this if you wanted to. Or what you can do is click this this global orange button. It's going to highlight all of them. So if I go click on this, now all of them are selected in everything. So in my sends, in my envelope, in my effects, and in my front page here. So now if I click on it, you should get some crazy sound. Now, I don't normally like to use this because like you, maybe you can see the problem here. So on my mute tab, you can see that like almost everything is muted except for like two sounds, which doesn't always work. So I'm just going to take that off and let's try that again. So it's kind of hit or miss whenever you're doing like everything getting randomized uh, because... 
you're obviously you're going to deal with like the attack time. So if your attack is all the way up, it's going to take a while for the attack to come up. I've, I mean, of course you can change that by uh, changing the um, global settings here. Um, but normally I, I don't like to touch these, like my envelope, I usually like to keep all the way down, decay, I might play with a bit, my sustain will be up, and then my release, sometimes I'll, I'll play with that, but normally it's something like this, and then... But I, effects, I don't normally use it, I mean, again, depends on, depends on like what kind of sound effects I'm creating, but normally this will completely be off. I'm going to turn off the reverse here. And there you go. So that's how I like to use it, and this is how it works. All right, the next tool is uh, from the same company, from Twisted Tools, and but this uh, plugin is called Ultra Loop, and this is a uh, Reactor Ensemble, just like S Layer. S Layer is also a Reactor Ensemble, so you need the full version of Reactor by Native Instruments to use it. Uh, but what this is is a sequencer, so uh, it's meant to sequence like drums. Uh, you can also do like melodies and, and stuff like that, and any kind of loops if you wanted to. Uh, but what I like to use it for is to create sound effects. So if I have it here, uh, you won't hear anything unless you press play in your DAW. So if I press play now, uh, you'll see I have imported a whole bunch of like uh, magic sound effects. So if I press play, you'll hear that. So it sounds a little bit crazy and glitchy, and that's kind of what I was going for here is some glitch sound effects. So uh, how does this work? Well, basically you have your your sequence is here. So whatever's lit up is what it's going to play as it's going through. So you can see like this blue uh, light at the top is going to go through all of these, and this is what's going to trigger these sequences. So as soon as it's on top of a certain sequence, a certain um, area, it's only going to play the tiles that are lit up. So right now it's going to play this top one, this yellow, this orange, and this orange, or these two lit yellows and this orange. Right, and then here it would only play the green, the um, lighter green, and then the orange. Here. Okay, um, and then so that's, that's the basic of how it works. It's same similar thing to S layer here. I loaded all my samples down here. Again, these are a bunch of like magic sounds I think that I imported, and then uh, yeah, so it's going to choose a bunch of sounds from. Uh, eight layers from these sounds, uh, unless I want to randomize, which I can do right here, randomize that. And if, again, it's similar, very similar to S layer, like you can randomize almost anything. So the start time, you can randomize that. Like right now it's set to zero because I want to start at the beginning, but if I wanted to, I could do anywhere between zero and 128 and then click randomize and then we'll do that. Same thing with the length, I can randomize that. Space, everything. So again, like S layer, Everything is like randomizable. Uh, your envelope, your filter, your uh, pan, your volume, and your start length. Okay, and you also have your global randomize feature. So if you have this red dot, so for Ultra Loop, it's this red dot. If this is turned on and you click this global randomize button, it's going to randomize everything. So uh, everything that's lit up. So let's try that. So one of the things I did mention is that these three uh, areas here, so they're your track sequencer, and, and this is for your colors, so whatever is getting triggered. Your effect sequence, I think, is for up here, so it's going to say whether the effect is going to play or not. And then your effects gesture is if an effect is going to be on or off. So I think it's this, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. It's been a while since I've used this, but um, normally I just use it to randomize everything. So if I click on it, randomize everything. <laughs> So I actually messed up. The, for the global randomize, it's actually this green button up here. So not this red one. This is to record, um, like your record mode, which records automation, like if you ever want to automate this or this or anything in here. Okay, so the green button is actually what randomizes everything. <laughs> So this is basically how I like to use it. I like to import my samples in here. I like to put the punch all the way up. So if I put it down, you see the attack is pretty low. And if I put it all the way up, it's a bit more punchy and uh, adds more attack to the uh, like the transient of the sounds whenever they're triggered. Okay, and this is how I like to use it to create kind of these uh, glitchy sounds. I also made a video, which I'll put it in the cards at the top, but a video about how I created like um, uh, impact, based impact sound effects using uh, this exact plugin. So uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, check it out. I'll put it in the top right right now. And uh, yeah, so this is basically it. I just like to randomize these. It randomizes everything. And then I just print out my sound and then I'll be able to go in, chop it up, use it as glitch sound effects or impacts, transients, stuff like that. So that's how I like to use this one. 
All right, the next plugin that I use uh, as a randomization tool is Palindrome by Glitch Machines. And Palindrome is a granular morph uh, sampler. So as you can see up here, you have four different sample samplers. Uh, you can import your own sounds, which, was, which is what I normally do. So here I imported some glitch sound effects and then some metal hits uh, from different folders. And then if I want to go and randomize everything here, so again, everything from like all the parameters to uh, down to specific parameters, you can just go down here to this question mark. And this is your randomization uh, control room, if you will, uh, where you can randomize everything. So you can randomize everything by just clicking down here, or you can randomize all the envelopes. If, if I'm not mistaken, if you click here, or you can ran randomize individual envelopes, you can randomize um, the samplers. Uh, if I just click on, let's say this is sampler one. So if I click on sampler one, you can see everything in the sampler one is getting randomized. Just sampler one, but not the rest. So if I click on sampler one, you can see sampler two is not getting randomized. Or I can do everything. So all of the uh, samplers, I can randomize them. But what it won't do is what it won't randomize this middle section. And I'll show you guys that really soon. So if I just play now, you can see I can move around this uh, area and get a sound. I'm gonna to try to change this up until I can get a sound here going. All right, so now I've kind of randomized the features and let's have a listen to what we have. So if I'm not mistaken, this is basically what it's doing is it's taking the four samplers and they each have their own quadrant. So uh, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And then as they play, it kind of blends through them. So it blends them together. So that's really cool. And then if you want to, you can even randomize everything, and which will also uh, randomize this middle section here where you can have a sequence going. So you don't have to actually drag it. Right? It'll play through the sequence every time you hit a note. Randomize it again. Right? And this is how I like to use this plugin. It's just to import my own sounds and then just kind of randomize everything. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll, I might drag it manually across to see what kind of shape I can create with the sound effects. Or sometimes I'll just randomize everything and then see what I come up with. And it's really great for creating any kind of digital sounds. Um, and it, I mean, it kind of it really depends on what you put into here, but you can get a lot of really cool sounds with this. All right, the next one that I'm going to lump into a, this same uh, category as Palindrome is Glitch is uh, Polygon. This is another uh, plugin by Glitch Machines, and uh, like pretty much all of the Glitch Machines uh, plugins that I have have some sort of randomization features, uh, which is really great. So if I look at this one, for example, um, you have your randomization features down here at the bottom uh, corner here with the dices, and then again, it's similar to uh, Palindrome where you can just randomize everything, or just the sampler, or just the sound, or just the effect, or whatever it is that you might want. So you can do everything, and you can try come up with brand new sounds. <laughs> Right, so depending on what you put in here, you can get a lot of really cool and crazy stuff, which is you know pretty uh, typical of glitch machines. Just what, what you can create is pretty awesome. Um, but what um, I just want to show you guys a few other ones. This is a free plugin by Glitch Machines here, and this is called Hysteresis, and it's uh, it's basically a stutter filter and delay uh, plugin. Um, and what I like to do again is just randomize the, the 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 settings and see what kind of sounds you can get. It's just sometimes you get some really cool stuff. Right, so you get the idea here. I'm kind of going through it a little bit quickly and not showing many examples, but you can see like what kind of sounds you can get if you wanted to do this. Like if I wanted to just go through some, let's try to use this here. And let's say I wanted to put hysteresis on here. Right, you can quickly see how you can create some new sound effects using um, the randomization features for any of the Glitch Machines uh, plugins.
All right, the next um, one that I like to use as a, to randomize is uh, Absinthe by Native Instruments. So Absinthe is, of course, a, th a synthesizer, and you can create a lot of cool stuff with it. It's really known for like creating some awesome pads and stuff like that. Um, what I like to use it for generally uh, is... Uh, to create pads, but then I like to mutate those pads to create new, like, ethereal sounds. So if I have something like this, for example, that's a cool sound. Like, I might, might, I might start there, and then you have this sound mutation uh, portion down here. And what I like to do is, I like to keep everything kind of on the low side. So you have your mutation amount, so how much you can mutate it, and by how much, or like how much uh, random amount. So you have how much you're going to mutate it, uh, how much you're going to mutate, and then by what random amount. So I usually I like to keep this kind of low, and I might do like this halfway. So let's try and mutate that. And if it doesn't work, I might just click retry. So that's cool. A little too atonal for me, but like I really like that. So I might take that, I might print it out, and use that as a sound effect. So this is kind of how I like to work with. Um, Absinthe. It's uh, usually I work with pads. Usually it's for like magical sound effects and stuff like that, or like magical layers or textures, things like that. That's what I like to use it for. But I, I mean, obviously it can do a lot more than just that. Um, but this is another plugin that I use uh, uh, to randomize. All right. Last but not least is a plugin called Biome by uh, Unfiltered Audio. And Biome is actually. Uh, it's called Biome because it's called Build Your Own Modular Effect. So it's a modular effect that has a whole bunch of different effects in here. So um, let's see how it works. So basically you have your main um, controls down here and then you have your uh, oscilloscope here. Uh, on this lane here, you have your effects. So any effects, so if I want to add another effect, I can just add, do that here, add another one, add another one, right? Um, and then down here, you have your modulation uh, sources. So if you want, you know, like a sine wave or if you want to choose something else, you can go in here and choose different things, your envelope, LFOs, modifiers. So a whole bunch of different stuff, okay? So you can build your own effect. And like here, I only showed, you know, you have your basic filters. There's a lot more you can choose. Like you have delays, distortion, dynamics, filters, granular. Um, you have your mixing stuff, like panning, uh, Chorus, flanger, right, reverbs, a whole bunch of stuff um, that you can do to create some cool sounds. And what's great about it is you can randomize everything. So uh, what I like to do, or at least what I'm going to do for this, uh, like for the purposes of this video, just to demonstrate, is I'm going to go into, let's say, granular, because let's say I want a granular effect, okay? And then for randomizing, it's right here. I'm going to right-click, and I have my main controls off because I don't want to randomize that. And the main controls are up here. So I don't want to randomize like the sample rate and the mix and the gain compensation. I want to leave that as is. But I do want to randomize the effects and then the modulation if there are any. Okay. And then I have it set to about uh, 20%. So it's going to affect it about 20%. So let's actually hear our sound effect before we get started so we know what we're playing with and then uh, hear what Biome is going to do. <laughs> So it's like a creature layer sound, something like that. Let's hear it with Biome now. Okay, let's say I want a different type of effect. Let's say I want uh, filters. Let's go in here and let's do that. Okay, let's say I want something like distortion. Okay, let's say I want something else. Let's just be creative. Let's go in here. Who knows what this is going to be? <laughs> right, 
right? So hopefully you can see how you can quickly come up with some new ideas, some new sounds, just by going into the effect plugin here and then just randomizing different parameters. Now, obviously, I'm just going through the presets, which is fine. That's totally, like, if you ever, uh, you have an idea of, like, the sound you might be going for or you just wanted some inspiration, like, you go in here, uh, click on, uh, on a sound on a particular effect that you're going for, maybe delay, and then you choose that. And then you click randomize and randomize the delay and then you get different ideas for what you might be going for. Or if you just want to like quickly go through some presets or if you want to do your own, like maybe I have, I know I want some tape delay, maybe I want a filter. I want maybe, let's say I go in here, I want, mm, let's say I want, let's do a chorus. And okay, now let's say I want these and now I can just randomize and see what I get. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you get an, the idea of, of this plugin and how it works and what you can do with it. All right, so I think that's everything for this video. I hope you guys liked that and found it useful and valuable. And I'm actually curious to know what um, randomization plugins or uh, uh, software do you guys use in creating your sound effects? Uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to learn from you guys. And um, yeah, if you haven't checked the description for that free sound pack, make sure to check it out to grab it, right, uh, to grab it for free. And I think that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. As usual, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.